Last week, uh, the out of stock rate for baby formula reached 70%. And in some states like Missouri, it exceeded 80%. And even as more formula arrives from international suppliers, families are getting desperate. That includes foster care families who use uh, Foster Adopt Connect, and they're trying to help. So KSHB 41 News reporter Daniela Leon, she joins us live at their location in Independence this morning. Daniela, what role do they play in order to help these foster families? Hey, good morning, Deja. Well, this nonprofit helps prepare families who are interested in fostering children. Now, they get that formula, like you mentioned, through harvesters or other donations, and foster families rely on Foster Adopt Connect to get that formula until WIC services or women and children services kick in. But given this current shortage, demand for that formula has skyrocketed, and you can see that by looking at your screen. This is what their shelves looked like last week. Hardly any formula in sight. The nonprofit says they can go through 15 cans of formula on a weekly average, but that's no longer the case since they can't even keep it in stock. They also worry if this trend continues, foster families will be less inclined to accept younger children, and here's why. Foster parents are asked to bring children into their home, and so if I, if I get two calls in a day and one is a two-year-old and one is an infant that needs formula in, in today's situation with this formula shortage, I might be more inclined to take the two-year-old um, and say no on the infant because I'm concerned about whether I'll have the ability to feed that baby. And Ross went on to explain a lot of these children are very vulnerable given the fact that they're either born prematurely or have been exposed to substance abuse. So they are relying on specialty formula. So they're encouraging you right now, if you have any unused cans of baby formula, to make a donation at one of Foster Adopt Connect's many sites, including this one here in Independence. Reporting in Independence, Missouri, Danielle Leone, KSHB 41 News. Now, Danielle, I'm curious, uh, is breast milk an option? Well, given the fact that these children, Deja, are under the care of the state, that is a lot harder to do compared to other children. That's because parents would need to get permission from the state and their doctors to even get their children to be on breast milk. And again, remember, these children have health risks associated with them, so breast milk may not necessarily be the best option for them, Deja. Absolutely, Daniela. Thank you for shining a light on this issue. We appreciate it.